a lack of animal foods is not exclusive to a plant-based or vegan diet. The nutrition we are missing from animal foods is a reality in 99.9% .9 of the world. We have an excess of calories with a lack of nutrition. A vegan might actually tell you the same thing, but say that fruits and vegetables are the solution to this problem. There are vitamins and minerals specific to animal foods that are crucial for development that we cannot obtain in any other way. It's just painfully apparent in vegans, and not only in adult vegans, people who are raised on a plant-based or vegan diet have exaggerated versions of features that occur in people deficient in these nutrients. So someone that might be lacking animal nutrition in their diet would have certain issues, but they're exacerbated on the vegan lifestyle. The discrepancy of the difference between plant forms of vitamins and animal forms has eluded the general population, and it would change our way of thinking in nutrition if it was actually understood. Let's take a look at Nina and Randa, the vegan cyborgs sent by our future overlords. I'm Nina. And I'm Randa. And today we're doing a Q and A. Q and Slay. We asked you guys to ask us questions on our Instagram. So this is what you asked us. If you're not following us on Instagram, it's at Nina Nelson, at, at Randa Nelson. Nelson. And we also have a joint called at Nina and Randa. We're going to link that in the description. Make sure to follow us so you also don't miss a video. Please, please follow us. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> follow me because I got a message. <laughs> if, if you know what that is, you are a true subscriber. Or you just follow vegan drama. Speaking of which, are we going to answer any vegan drama today? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Of course we are. That's what you guys want to see. One thing I've noticed is the way these girls act and their approach to things is very almost childish and immature. It allows them to answer questions in very simple and certain ways, as well as dismiss things that are actually bigger issues. Have you ever lost your period? I see many vegan YouTubers talking about losing their period is the cause of vegan diet. So no, I've, I've never lost my We period. wanted to address this in a video because I've seen a few people who've come out as no longer vegan as, as something that happened to them is not having a period, especially people who have been raw. Maybe this is a, lot, a little TMI. Whatever. I don't know. If you guys want to know, I didn't get my period until I was almost 17. 17. So I was 16 the month before I turned 17. And ever since then, it was always every month. It was super regular. Um, one time when I was 18, I was super stressed out and I wasn't eating enough. And so I did lose my period for like three months. And I did lose some weight because I was stressed out. But as soon as I put back on the weight that I lost, my period came back. And ever since then, it's been normal. I've always had a normal period. Never, no issues here. Yeah. Even when I got really stressed out from a breakup and was like very tiny, uh -huh. I was fine. Different people have different set points in terms of what's natural mm -hmm. for their weight. So if you go below your specific set point, if you're not eating enough, yeah, you could lose your period. And I think that is a, a side effect that some of these people were experiencing. It's nature's way of being like, well, scarcity environment. Yeah. In the scarcity in the environment. Yeah. Let's not make babies right now. It's, no period. It's a response saying something is not right. I mean, if you're not getting your period regularly, then something is not right. And some people say, oh, do I need to be eating fats to get a, a normal period? And we still eat fats in our diet, guys. I feel like there's this misconception that we eat a no-fat diet. Low we eat a low-fat diet. There's still a natural amount of fat in everything we eat. But I still have a completely regular period and very little cramps, can might we, I say. Can we talk about something else now? Okay, so if you go back and notice just like every single vegan video, there's quite a few cuts in the video. This shows that they're having brain fog from their diet. You know, lack of brain function can greatly be attributed to B12 deficiencies, deficiencies in omega-3 fatty acids. They recognize that when you don't have caloric and micronutrient nutrition in your environment, a woman would lose her period. And we see this blame on stress. I think Ravana said the same thing. She blamed herself losing her period on stress. When it, it's difficult to know if these women are being truthful or if they're just trying to go with the flow and dismiss everything. And one thing you guys may have noticed is the the thinness of their lips, the lack of muscle mass. These are features we see in vegans and plant-based dieters. Uh, the thinness of the lips is because of lack of facial development and soft tissue development in early stages of life. Uh, although I didn't get a lot of animal-based nutrition because I was fed a soy formula, I am fortunate to not have lips as thin as these young ladies. The lack of muscle mass, vegan diet, we see it day in and day out. And, you know, these, these girls don't look like vibrant, 
healthy girls in their early 20s. I feel kind of bad for them. <laughs> How long have you eaten the clear skin diet? We have eaten this way for almost five years, right before we turned 21. The relevance to that, to all of this vegan drama, is I've noticed that several different people who, who are no longer vegan have tried every variation of veganism. And we you stuck with it. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys have been following us for the four or five years we've been on YouTube, it's literally been the same. Yeah. We've never had to be like, oh, now we're going to do a fast. Oh, well, if you find something that you like, you don't need to change it. And if you find something that works, yeah. it makes you feel good. Sustainability is what we're saying. So what we're saying, book linked in the description. <laughs> <laughs> you won't regret it. Seriously. So I took a look at one of their days of eating, and they follow a heavily starch-based diet, uh, very similar to Dr. McDougall. Uh, he wrote a book called The Starch Solution, where he advocates that people should consume 90% or so of their calories from tubers, rice, potatoes, quinoa, grains, essentially. And these foods are really the only high calorically dense sources of energy on a vegan diet and they're actually foods that we even saw our indigenous ancestors consume in addition to animal foods whether it's naturally fermented rye bread or us italians eating indigenous strains of wheat grains were present in our past diets it's just we had animal foods with them and when you consume large amounts of grain sugar vegetables without fat without animal protein without animal nutrients your body doesn't produce collagen efficiently. It can't heal tissue very well. Uh, so these, you know, these vegan girls are going to be the oldest looking 24 year olds in a couple of years, pretty much guaranteed. What's your weekly running mileage now and in the past? For a while, we were doing 20 miles a week at least. Mm -hmm. One week I did 40 miles. This moment in time, I really don't keep, don't track, keep track of my mileage. In the past, yeah, we did around 20 miles a week. Mm -hmm. That's just what we were accustomed to. And then that's not even including like walking and hiking. As yeah, well. that was just straight running. But now I feel like probably around 10 miles a week. For you sure. Know? It just depends on the week. Because sometimes we'll do, we'll just randomly be like, okay, let's do a eight, seven mile run. Mm -hmm. We'll probably do runs like twice a week, I would yeah. say. If you're trying to get fit, run 20 miles a week. Okay, but you gotta work up to that. We'll work up to it. <laughs> this is a testament to how every single being wants to survive in nature, guys. These young girls able to follow this starvation diet of carbohydrates and run 10 miles a week really shows the endurance of, of the human body, physiologically speaking. I mean, there, there's only so long you can last on a diet like this, and, and that's determined by your genes, how well you can absorb certain nutrients, but... It's very apparent it's already taking a toll on them at a very young age through, you know, the way they look. So, we'll see. Would you ever consider slowly introducing healthy fats into your diet? Honestly, it's not something that I think about. Same. I'm not one day thinking like, oh, like I'm going to add in fats back into my diet. I think people might think it because maybe they feel like, oh, they, they're re missing out. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't even think of it as missing out. So I literally never think about it. It's kind of like when you get used to eating something, you're yeah. not thinking like, oh, I want that as well. I'm just so... Because you're lacking the DHA from the fat in so your brain. I'm used to it that I don't think, oh, I really miss avocado. I mean, maybe I'll have some avocado when I'm pregnant. I know. I always thought if That's I was going to have some fats, it'd probably be when I was was pregnant because oh my God. but just to clarify that doesn't mean we think you need like avocados when you're pregnant that's just like kind of a good a running joke that we have you know yeah you can easily can I'll still eat this way even when I'm pregnant yeah I plan to eat this way for the rest of my life yeah there are many people who have planned to be vegan for the rest of their lives yet here they are two years later sucking down wild salmon saying that avocados are for pregnant women and that they plan to follow this diet for the rest of their life. What bothers me about this is vegans consume an incredible amount of carbohydrates, the only macronutrient that's not necessary for life. And protein and fat, they like brush it under the rug. Oh, you don't really need those. It's just every aspect of a vegan diet from a logical, scientific, nutritional standpoint. It's just, it's just too much to really, you know, the cognitive dissonance is, is unreal. You know, the confirmation bias, keeping themselves in this cult, it's really unbelievable. It doesn't matter if, you know, if vegan turns you into a giant stalk of broccoli and you had to plant yourself in the ground, people would still say, oh, this is great. It's completely ridiculous. There's not much more related to nutrition in this video, so we're going to take a quick look at some of the features that I spoke about earlier. When we look at the body and facial structure, it seems to be a mixture of masculine and feminine. Uh, if we look at the face, the brow ridge seems pretty masculine. 
uh, puffy cheeks, thin lips. The thin lips are a result of nutrient deficiencies and lack of soft tissue development uh, during earlier stages of life. Uh, the shoulders are wider than the hips, uh, which is not usually typical in females. Uh, some lack of breast development as well. And if you look at the abs, it's it's very, very unusual because normally women store adipose tissue in all parts of their body, not just the stomach. It almost looks like they have the midsection of a man because they know they have the very defined abs with slight fat. And this is a result of hormonal imbalance. And that combined with the lack of hips at all, if you look at the girl on the left, she has absolutely no hips. It's like a taper straight down and then her legs come out. It clearly hormonal imbalances during developmental stages of life that didn't result in them developing normal feminine features. When we take a look at someone with more feminine physical development, things seem almost the complete opposite. Uh, the face has a much softer look to it, uh, symmetrical development, full symmetrical lips. Uh, the shoulders are about as wide as the hips. Uh, we see an even fat distribution on all parts of the body, increased breast development. Uh, we see the taper from the ribs down to the hips. And this is the telltale feature of a female for the most part, the childbearing hips. If you don't have this, it's essentially an indicator that there's been failure from a biological or physical standpoint because in nature, if your hips aren't wide enough, you couldn't give birth to a child. Uh, it's interesting that people don't talk about this more often, uh, but really interesting and stark differences between you know what we are supposed to look like versus what we look like now. And I suffer from this to some degree too. I think the reason I have wider hips is because of the soy formula I was fed as a child and also my hormone imbalances that I had through developmental stages of life. But, you know, sometimes with the bad comes the good, and the reason Frankie looks like Peter Pan, Fairy Boy, Aladdin, Disney Prince over here, it might have something to do with that too, so I can't complain too much. The reason I'm critiquing these two young ladies is because they are fortunate not to be ugly. They appear somewhat healthy, living a happy lifestyle, yet they are using makeup, glitz, and glam to sell their diet and lifestyle, and we know that vegans tend to lie about how they actually feel on their diet for months, even years, cheating on their diet, eating animal foods without telling people there is no accountability in these vegan girls. There is too much incentive for them to portray this image. We have seen it over and over and over again. Millions of young girls influenced, and then three years later, the influencer admits to all these health problems that they were suffering from from day one. Raw Vanna, Raw Alignment, Bonnie Rebecca, Freely. When will this end? How many millions of lives have to be altered and damaged soon enough it will happen soon enough because there are only two options here they continue to follow their crazy vegan diet and they wither away and then they you know people that disagree with them silence them and they continue to deteriorate in appearance and they slowly you know go away i guess or what's more likely to happen two three years later they're sucking down some salmon with raw alignment at a barbecue that that's what those are the only two options. Either way, vegans lose because vegans will go sterile and deteriorate their health. If anything, just sterile. Being infertile is almost glorified by the vegan community and it's used as like, oh, it's it's completely natural. Your body's adjusting to things. It's just it's just complete justification of crazy stuff. It's 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 crazy to me it's crazier than painting yourself green and sticking yourself in the ground. I think I gotta do that in a video, but uh Outside of that, thank you guys for watching. I hope I've gotten my message out fairly well. We need to be consuming animal foods, and there's so many ways that these vegans can camouflage and disguise things and influence people. It's, it's sad. It's very, very, very sad to see that there's a clear agenda being pushed here. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell icon right next to the subscribe button, and share the video if you can. If you guys would like to support me, just check out a couple of the videos that I'm going to link at the end here. Uh, we recently started Frankie's Free Range Meat. I am hoping to bring high-quality, nutrient-dense animal foods to every single person. Uh, you can check out the Kickstarter if you would like to pre-order meat. If not, we'll be selling meat in two to three months from now. Either way, 
Uh, if you guys do want to check out some stuff outside of that, I have a Patreon. I have an Amazon shop. All that stuff is down in the comments. Uh, Carnivoreforum.com. I have a Discord. The link for that is on my channel under the About page. And if you guys would like to reach out to me for consultations, frankatufano at gmail.com or the contact form on my website, frank-tufano.com, if you would like to increase the nutrient density in your diet and achieve health through exercise, sun, and water as well. You guys enjoy the rest of the weekend.